As the Los Angeles Lakers prepare to restart their season in the coming days, one particular player's name pops up in discussions more than anyone else in the purple and gold, that would be none other than Kyle Kuzma. Despite the fact that the Lakers have a star-studded roster featuring household names like LeBron James, Anthony Davis and Dwight Howard, Kuzma's role, and future, on the Lakers continues to be a persistent topic. It's a well-accepted notion that in order for the Lakers to hoist their first NBA championship since 2010, Kuzma will have to be more comfortable in his role as the third option. With the addition of Davis during the offseason, the 24-year-old Kuzma was forced to become a clear-cut third offensive option. Making matters even more challenging, the 6'8 forward was moved out of the starting lineup to become a sixth man. While Kuzma still certainly possesses the ability to explode on the scoring sheet, the results have been a mixed bag. The third-year man is third on the team in scoring at 12. 5 points per game, but his efficiency has been lackluster at 43. 4% from the field and 29. 7% from beyond the arc. In fact, among rotation players on the Lakers, Kuzma's effective field goal percentage 0F. 491 is only higher than Rajon Rondo at. 480. When you factor in the trade rumors that Kuzma faced leading into the trade deadline in February along with the Lakers' reluctance to sign him to an immediate long-term contract extension, it's no wonder why he continues to be hounded by questions on a daily basis. During a Zoom call on Wednesday, Kuzma finally responded to all the chatter about his uncertain future in Los Angeles. Needless to say, it doesn't sound like he's too concerned about being paid by the Lakers when it comes to his new contract. Kuzma will enter the last season of his rookie deal during the 2020-21 season. I mean, I'm going to get paid regardless, so I don't really care, Kuzma said, per Ryan Ward of Clutch Points. It's going to happen one day, so I don't think about that. It had recently been stated by John Hollinger, former NBA executive with the Memphis Grizzlies, that an extension between Kuzma and the Lakers was unlikely. In fact, Hollinger states that it's possible that the Lakers allow Kuzma to play out his contract before attempting to re-sign him as a restricted free agent next offseason. Hollinger also gives Kuzma a pretty low value in terms of market value at just $6, 7 million per year. Not exactly the type of contract a player of Kuzma's youth and skill set would be looking for on his next deal in the thick of his prime. Via the Athletics' Anthony Slater. Finally, as you note, the Lakers face a huge decision on him this summer regarding an extension. I'm worried that Kuzma's perception of his value is dramatically higher than his actual basketball value. My just-out-of-beta valuation formula has him pegged at worth just $6.